I always say I'm, I'm, I'm dressing the alpha male, the leader of the pack. Whatever he says goes type of a thing. He doesn't even know that he's the alpha male because his friends already just put him into that role type of a thing. And he, he just naturally assimilates that position. Like for, those of, for those of us who are attracted to men, that's the kind of guy, okay. like, I mean, he's not overt in his power, but mm, he's just... just you just, just know and you know it and you feel it yeah. um, even if he's straight or gay he's kind of i'm sure of myself guys it's a week after men's Wear week and we're in green point um we're about to ambush um british nigerian designer tokyo james at his apartment um this is the curious athlete my name is jabli lilamini kwesha and you're on the narrative evolution currently happening in men's fashion. Men are being are becoming more aware. Men are becoming more experimental. Society is relaxing its toxic masculinity. The masculine is adapting to, to, to say, you know what, this is a new form of masculinity. Yeah. With the collection where that was black and hyper masculine, um, how would you describe how you arrived at that. Okay, so that collection was actually autumn winter seventeen. Um, Brexit just happened and Europe was going through turmoil with the rise of the right wing. Then there was Trump. Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. It was it was really shocking for me for for a country that is that prides itself as one of the guardians of democracy, for it to even consider electing a racist, a fascist, uh, a, a anti-feminist, a misogynist, a bigot. A, a very loud, loud bigot. Yes, a very <laughs> loud bigot. Like he had all the isms. Yeah. He was literally a, 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 a conundrum of isms. He had ugly as the new core. Just talking about you know what humanity is accepting ugly and it's becoming the norm yeah um things that we wouldn't we would normally frown upon was started to become the norm and we're just like huh but the collection was pretty much a resistance collection it was pretty much that you know what we are ready to fight you with your misogynism with your anti-semitism with your racism with your bigotry and you know what we have our eyes on you, like, we are not about to allow the most, because whatever, if America, if America has a cold, planet Earth has a cold. So I, I, I sometimes... It means we catch the flu. We, we catch the flu. <laughs> yeah. So I was almost on the stage of like, I, 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 I'm, I'm one of those people, I'm like, there's certain countries on Earth that you know what, the whole planet should just be voting. They should, it should be like, when it's time to elect their, their president, <laughs> humanity, we should, we should all be in our very countries. So since um, autumn, winter, 17, so we've moved from like tension, because that's just what I felt when I looked at that collection. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oof, I can feel the tension. <laughs> and then last Saturday, Saturday I was like, this, like... A breath of fresh air, <laughs> those <laughs> air, <laughs> that can breathe. That can breathe, <laughs> like, you know? So I wanna, so what is that, that journey, that, yeah, transition? So it now transitioned from that to where I was just like, you know what, there's nothing we can do. Um, hence we had the cowboy collection and the cowboy collection was just like you know what we are going to like rodeo we are going to ride this until it's over <laughs> yeah then the other one um, the spring the autumn winter 18 was just more of a calm yeah. it's like okay we, 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 we now know what to do and the resistance must go on and this present, Spring Summer 19, was, is a mixture of both. There's a mixture of there's an alien in town, so there's an alien in Africa, um, which was um, something to do with my dad. It was also about us as a community, that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so I'm very curious about how the alien in town has to do with your dad. So, um, I met my dad for the first time ever okay. in my entire life. Um, and he's a, not even an alien in town. The collection is called an alien in Africa. Um, and he's like the alien in my life. <laughs> so I'm getting to know this alien. 
Um, and there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Whichever way, whichever way the cards fall, the hence the color spectrum and it was a bit more light um, that we realized that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Then we're able to keep things moving and be positive um, and ignore the neg negativity as much as possible. When it's not becoming detrimental to you ignoring it, then it's okay. But if we're ignoring it to the point that it starts becoming detrimental, then we, we as human beings become complicit in, in that actions and everything that is happening. So yeah. Like what is African luxury to well, you? <laughs> it's, because it's it's it's, 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 <laughs> it's accentuated. It's, it's really just attention to detail. Luxury in any space yeah. Yeah. is attention to detail and time. That okay. we spent time to make these garments and think about it just for you. Because it, essentially, if you take a shirt is a shirt. The way you make a shirt or a jacket here is the same way you make it in. America, London, Italy, China, wherever you are in the world, yeah. it's the same principle. Yeah. But it's now, what makes that shirt different? Um, always think, think globally, act locally, which is very, very important. Think. So this is like how 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 is it gonna fit into the bigger scheme of the world, but also lend yourself to it. Pretty much, and how how is it going to also take your take not only your story but your people's story out there with a very global aesthetic? It's very important that we understand that global aesthetic because if we don't, as a as a brand, um, your your USP already is that you are African. Um, that for me is a it's a niche. Yeah, and that's essentially what differentiates your white shirt from somebody else's white shirt. Sure. That you're you, and you made it. Of course, yeah. and it's been made with love, just the way you, we have a value for things being made in Italy or made, being made in Paris. There's a value for it being made in South Africa, or there's a value for it being made in Nigeria, or Kenya, or Egypt, because we as people, the, the value comes from what we as people put on the value. Fashion right now on the continent is where music was before. Um, before we used to listen predominantly to Western music. Yeah. But now, in our clubs and there's South African house and there's the Nigerian influence. Like I can go talk about Nigeria, like 80% of the music played in Nigeria is Nigerian. Yeah, so redefining the taste that has been prescribed. Exactly, to people. To people. And we're, we're slowly, and our people are slowly coming to an acceptance of that. Like luxury is attention to detail and time. 